And then like substitutes were the worst because I'd be like, oh, I gotta work really hard. I'd rather be bad in front of the teacher than in front of the substitute. But that pressure, I'm just like, oh. I'm a very outgoing person, so when I meet someone, I don't try to like shun them away. My teachers, they were kind of focused more on something else, like more elective type stuff than the curriculum. They would give me an assignment and I would do it and I'd do it really fast. When I would finish it really fast, I'd be talking because I'd have extra time. And then all the, all, this, all the students in my class are my friends. And then I had my cousin in there also. Me and my cousin, we would really hit it off and we'd be like talking and then my other friends wanted to talk with us. Everybody would be talking and we like raise our voices and then all of a sudden our teacher's like, whoa, you guys, you guys need to whisper. And then we're like, okay. But then it happened again and then people would start laughing and then after that, she's like, okay guys, that's enough. I'd get in trouble and then my mom would notice and then she's like, whoa, Luis talks a lot, but when he's doing work, he does his work. Uh, we would just talk about like random stuff, like we'd be doing language arts and the problem would say something funny. Hey David, look at, look at number two, and then he'd look at it and it's like, a word would be like mixed up and we, we know what it means, but to sixth graders it's pretty funny that they messed up a textbook. Substitutes, because my mom, she works in the district, she told me, she's like, substitutes move around schools. They'll end up with me one day, and they'll tell me how you act. And that really didn't scare me, but I kind of respect my mom. And my teacher would come back the next day, and she would see the paper where, like, the te where the substitute writes down her notes of how the class behaved and everything. She'd be like, Luis, you were the only one who had your name written down. She'd call my mom, and then my mom would be like, whoa, Luis never gets in trouble. Well, at least not this much. What the GT program is, is that it's all this hard work, and if I do it, then I'll, I can whisper to my friends and, I, and the teachers don't get mad. The problem with being at the other school was that I would finish the work so fast, was that I was talking so much. Like, all through elementary, all my teachers would be like, Luis is amazing, he, he, his grades are exemplary, everything's good. The only problem is he loves to talk. And like only on like the conferences, you know, where you have to go every so often during elementary. He loves to talk. And so we already knew that. But then sixth grade, that's when it like came a problem. Like, cause like when I'm at home and I'm not doing anything, I start getting really bored. And then I just might go make my mom mad just to see what she does. And then after she gets mad, we start laughing cause she knows that I'm doing it on purpose. Um, my mom and I are really close friends. Like we talk about, everything and anything. It's only her and me now, so. <laughs> I think I'm too outgoing to be worried about high school because like all my friends are like, oh, we're gonna get beat up, we're gonna get beat up, bullies and all this, but I'll worry about that when I get there. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have that under control by then.